Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Sagittarius. Today we're looking at money and career. The two are intertwined, so we will pull 10 cards. It's a spread that belongs to Vincent Petitci, a master tarot reader, but really I have modified it into a step pyramid. So 10 cards. Um, importance of the card spread, guys, is each of them has a position. Each position relates to the question. And as you guys know, we're doing a general reading, so uh, no question has really been asked. So we're going to try and puzzle a question out of those cards. But first, I want to explain their positions and the meaning of each position, because that's really the idea here. So uh, a tarot reading, but really an exercise of creative thinking. All right. First two positions relate to the question. So we're speaking to general Sagittarius, but uh, the question, if this were a private reading, gets you to think of really, what are we trying to achieve, okay? What are we in the instant looking for and in terms of long-term? So this is positions one and two. Position three talks about something that you are doing in the um, immediate term, if you will, to achieve an immediate result, which is expressed in position number four. So we'll talk about those two. Position number five is an asset that you have going for you, something that we should puzzle as well. And uh, you know what, find out how best to use it. Position six is an opportunity. So we'll, you know what, think back, what opportunities are there? Um, what opportunities may arise based on the asset, etc. Position seven invites you to look again at the situation and how you think Okay, and how you view what you are doing in the first six positions. Position eight talks about timing. So in a personal reading, say a three comes up, we can develop this into maybe the timing is in three weeks, three months, something like that. But keeping it general, we're going to stick to maybe a note on timing, but really what needs to happen before you take action if you are going to be taking a significant move. And position nine invites you to look again globally at the question. Okay, why is it all happening? We're not saying cards tell us why we are doing, but why is it all happening? What is the cause? What is the true cause? Position 10 gives us uh, an idea on possibilities. So it can be at times, again, outcome, but possibilities I find um, inviting more, to, again, spark an idea. So what we, do, what we are doing, guys, is really trying to come up with an idea. It's a goal you have on your mind, either a career upgrade, expansion of your money, etc., uh, etc., et but there's something that you are about to do, okay? And in that something that you're about to do, we're going to see what's the best way to, you know what, achieve it. So without further blabber, Sagittarius, first two cards, what we got was a nine of pentacles. So related to the question, the number nine, guys, attainment, nearing completion. Second is a ten of cups, okay? So nine and ten, all right? It's as if to say, if we try to make up a question now, nine years completion on your mind is attainment, okay? Uh, nearing the 10 of pentacles. And you're asking yourself, how do I reach this completion with respect to either a new project or uh, a new business deal or uh, a new, you know what, revenue stream, a new opportunity at work, but you are considering the concept of completion, completion of the thought, or the effort, or completion of a new, you know what, beginning, because we also have a 10 here related to your question. So 10s are completions, but also indicative of new beginnings. Let's see what we got. So position three, we got the um, page of wands. So pages represent a new path, a new inspiring path. The one element kicks in, the fire element, all about excitement, as if to say we are, um, Attaining knowledge, attaining material knowledge, okay? Looking to attain that, looking to feel good about a certain idea in order to move on a new path. What is the new path? Now, what you are seeking is inspiration, okay? Finding a new path and uh, to achieve what? To achieve a seven of cups. So a seven of cups is confidence, to achieve confidence. On this, you know what, new adventure or new endeavor. Alrighty, so we're wanting to have a complete idea about money growth, about career upgrade. We are seeking a new path, okay, uh, in order to also achieve more confidence about the same, about money management, 
and perhaps job and career satisfaction. So let's just go back to the Ten of Cups, guys. And cups are water elements. Cups are water elements related to our feelings, how we feel about what we do. And in our context today, what we do relates to how we make money too. So there's a bit of you wanting that kind of satisfaction in what you do as well. Uh, now, position number five, we have the fool. And position number five is an asset available to you. So how could the fool be an asset available? Well, think of the energy. Willing to go on, um, you know what, a new adventure, if you will. So courage, having the faith, having the hope. Guys, underline that and underscore hope, hope, and hope. This is probably the most important thing in anything in life, is having hope. Whether you're talking about money, whether you're talking about love, whether you're talking about uh, just personal well-being, in many different ways, the Fool represents a lot of hopes. The Fool represents a new journey. So an asset for you here is the faith to take new steps, to take the leap of faith, to take, you know what, uh, a new approach, a new step forward, even if it is in a new direction. Now, what I have not seen here right now is uh, swords. So, oh, we're going to see swords now. All right, so that comes up in the opportunity part. And what swords do we have? We have the six of swords. As if to say, once you've gained confidence, so sixes are also about overcoming of obstacles. Um, once we have overcome and developed a thought further, you know what? The opportunity is really driven by your energy to take a new step in a new direction. But once you are taking that new step, you do uh, overcome obstacles, and those obstacles would have been about thoughts. Those would have been mental obstacles, if you will, sometimes even self-inflicted. But the number six talks about perseverance and overcoming of ob obstacles. So um, you get that when you rely on this energy with uh, the fool's energy. New adventure, willing to go on a new journey, looking to explore, but at times also in need of guidance. Alrighty, now position number seven, guys, King of Wands. Position number seven is again how you're seeing the situation as it stands. And of course, again, this is a general reading, but if we were in a personal reading, we would go back and forth. But how do you see the situation? Again, seeking inspiration. You are wanting to accumulate the knowledge of this king of wands kings are so knowledgeable so on your mind is how best can i be inspired and accumulate every bit of knowledge every bit of understanding on how to come up with a perfect money plan that is satisfactory through a new path you know what which gives us confidence which allows us to take the new step which then provides us you know what with the overcoming of obstacles clarity mental clarity in terms of how to go about money management and growth now position number eight about timing we have the nine of cups so we've had a few nines it's as if to say when you have attained okay underscore underline that word when you have attained enough knowledge okay that makes you feel good by feel good i mean gut i mean trust your intuition okay that's the time to act but it's not basically as you get creative. So let's look at the number. It's not a three. I would have said you're going to get very, very creative and thoughts will come up. But here we have a nine. That nine is, as we said earlier, nearing completion. So your best time to act is once you have attained enough knowledge about, you know, what, whatever it is, new action, new approach, new endeavor that you are about to take and feel good about it. So trust your intuition. All right. Position number nine, why is it all happening? And we have the emperor. Well, the emperor is a builder. The emperor wants to have almost the world. So they want to have a perfect harmony, a perfect balance, a perfect grounded life and lifestyle. That is the major goal that would be the goal driving those activities, short term, long term, the contemplation, etc. Now, in terms of uh, possibilities, we have the judgment card coming up. So, as if to say, possibilities. When you have put in the right effort, you will have the right outcome, okay? So, we're making a prediction here, and it's a very, very general one. Judgment displays fairness, displays um, resolution, displays clarity. 
So you put in the proper work, you will get rewarded. This is the message I get from the judgment card. And with that being said, Sagittarius, I hope you guys liked today's reading. Would love it if you would comment and subscribe. Sagittarius, you guys are so amazing. And I want you to know we do love you madly. Bye for now, guys.